Hello and welcome back. And today I want to talk about a different kind of QNAP device. All too often we talk about this brand in terms of innovation and more, and moreover to do with their network attached storage. But QNAP have decided to completely overhaul a number of their expansion options for NAS users. And the first one is the TR004. <laughs> This is the four bay expansion device for NAS users. So if your space is getting a bit, you know, you're running out of space there on your device and you are looking to have additional storage bolted on to your QNAP NAS, this is very much the solution for you. That said, it is compatible with PC, Mac and Linux systems and its most attractive feature of all is that it supports hardware RAID inside. It's got a hardware RAID controller that conducts all of the RAID operations internally. In real terms, what that means is generally when you do attach some of the former and pretty much universal expansion systems that most NAS brands provide, they require the CPU of the NAS regardless of which unit it is to conduct the raid it handles the raid building and support on that external system so you've got your nas here and that nas when it needs more drives added will require this expansion system to be connected via usb or eSATA. usb in the case of this device but in generally we'll have to have an expansion device connected then that device is just a JBOD, just a bunch of drives with no RAID compatibility, with no RAID support and no brains whatsoever. And the NAS has to use some of its system resources to support that RAID, whether it is to add the drives to the existing RAID configuration or as an independent storage array. This changes things because it has its own RAID handling. So not only can you have it as a standalone device for USB storage, but if you bolt it on and connect it to your NAS system, it will handle its own RAID, taking the pressure off the CPU and giving you greater performance in terms of read and write and general operations. Now, there is more to this device that I'll go in a little bit more detail when we start uh, unboxing the device more and more, but do know that not only is this device pretty cheap at about 180 quid without the VAT, but on top of that, it is very, very functional, both as a NAS system and as an independent storage array. Remember that you don't have to just use it as a NAS expansion. You can utilize it as a USB connected storage area for this NAS to completely clone onto. Moreover, if you're using traditional PC systems and you connect it via normal file formatting standards, you can then fill it up with storage with its own RAID, disconnect it from the PC, lift it over, pop it down, connect it to the NAS, and then that content will be completely network and internet accessible, login credentials aside. So there are a lot of reasons to go for a device like this if you are looking to buy a NAS expansion. One common area that people use NAS expansions for is that, that when they got their NAS, then maybe when they first invested, they didn't have a lot of money floating around and they needed to spend a little. So they were more interested in storage than hardware. So they went for a little two bay or a really modest four bay forward on. They've spent so much time with this NAS and centered their business or their home life around it that they can't just up and replace it with a new NAS. Maybe it's budget, maybe it's that all the links that they've shared with so many users can't afford to be broken with a new device. So they go for an expansion to just increase the pool of storage rather than get a new bigger NAS and all the work that can entail with it. There are of course disadvantages of an expansion such as an additional power supply needed and the connection between the expansion and the NAS in the case of this USB. But the beautiful thing about this is because it's got its own RAID handling, if there's a severed connection between them and you're using that RAID separately as it is, you won't damage the storage. There'll be nothing stopping that device, in this case, the TR004, just having its independent storage. But I've talked for long enough. Let's switch to the other camera and get this unboxed. Okay, so once you remove the box from its retail packaging, this is what you're met with. This is the TR004 expansion device, and you have the box of accessories. If we move over to the accessories, we can take a look inside. We have an external power brick, which is always quite handy indeed, because you are gonna need an additional power support, uh, supply to power this device up, so do remember that. Next, you have got a USB connected cable and it's USB-A to USB-C, which means this device that can connect its USB-C rear to the USB-A of the majority of QNAP NAS. On top of that, we've got keys and screws for the installation of hard drives and more, as well as cable ties to make sure that USB cable is going nowhere. 
a first time installation setup manual, which is always handy for many of you. And of course, a UK mains lead. And if you order from the guys at Span, you will get your mains lead included. Now, as you can see straight away, it's very similar to the TS451 and the 431P2 chassis from QNAP. It's a plastic chassis, which does limit a lot of the noise within the metal internals. The four bays on the front, if we remove those hard drives, Inside there are click and load trays, so no screwdriver required. The device can just, you pop in the hard drive. It's really straightforward indeed. You grab a drive, stick the hard drive inside like so. Remove that clip, pop in the hard drive. And it's very straightforward when you're using both hands, in fact. Attach the clip, attach the clip. There, other side, and boom, your drive is inside, ready to expand your NAS. And again, these trays can be completely locked by those little key locks there on the front. On the side, we've got LEDs that denote um, drive access, RAID, health, and status, and USB connectivity, as well as a direct backup button, which backups uh, the content of this device to the NAS or vice versa, and a safe eject button, something that you USB users are probably very familiar with over time. Now we've got ventilation on one side, however, no ventilation on the other, but there's tons of ventilation on the base of this device. Now those ventilated holes there on the base of it do help um, assist passive cooling of those drives, as well as active cooling thanks to that rear mounted fan. This rear fan, again, you can't really adjust the fan speed on this as you could in previous units because this doesn't have the same sort of CPU that a NAS has. What you have instead um, is USB connectivity, USB-C to be precise, and this RAID dip switch, if we get a nice close up of that. Now that USB dip switch there is, or the, the dip switch controls the RAID. Now on the top of the device, there's information with regards to what each of those switches mean in real terms in a RAID scenario, ignore the light. So you put those switches in different scenarios and there's instructions to set the RAID up for the first time. And again, by doing this, you will remove any work of your NAS to conduct and support that RAID configuration. There's obviously a power button. And that's about it. The fan itself, as I say, can't be controlled. You could, like the way you could in a NAS, but that shouldn't be too bad. And it's the perfect way to increase the storage on your NAS today. And then remember, there are other NAS expansions, namely a five and an eight bay from QNAP, but it's worth mentioning that those devices are not hardware RAID. And we will be doing a performance test of this device to see just how it performs with that hardware RAID compared with internal storage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.